Hey guys, so this is a related rates example with two moving objects. So here's the situation. A hot air balloon is riding straight up from a point at a constant rate of two feet a second. When the balloon is 50 feet above the ground, a motorcycle passes underneath and is traveling at a constant speed of 30 feet a second. Sorry for the typo there. How fast is the distance between the balloon and the motorcycle increasing three seconds later? So. The thing with related rates, you always want to figure out what the situation is. So this is actually talking about two moments in time. So the first moment is this. The balloon is going straight up and then this motorcycle comes underneath. Boom. And then three seconds later, here's the situation. The balloon continues to go straight up and the motorcycle continues to go this way. So notice what the question is actually asking. It's asking how fast is the distance between the balloon and the motorcycle increasing three seconds later? So it's asking about this distance, right? So we kind of have to think about both of these situations to, to get this problem started and then we can figure out what equation actually models this. So thinking about this situation here, so we know that at this moment in time, the balloon was 50 feet above the ground and the motorcycle was right here. So we'll say that this is the, the zero starting point. So after three seconds, where is the balloon and the motorcycle? Well, the balloon is traveling at two feet a second. So if I take two times three, that's six. So the balloon has traveled another six feet. So now this balloon has gone up to 56 while the motorcycle is traveling at 30 feet a second. So after three seconds, it has moved, this motorcycle has moved, let's see if I go like this, this motorcycle has moved 90 feet. So now we can actually see the situation emerging and now we can kind of figure out what to do. So I wanna figure out how this distance is changing. So how can I figure out what this distance is at this moment? That would be the Pythagorean theorem. So now let's make some space and, and continue on. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem just for the, the shape that's been created in this situation. So that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And what I wanna think about anytime I come up with a physical situation, I wanna think about what quantities are changing. So I need to label my a, b, and c. Let's call this side, let's call this side my a, we'll call this side my b, we'll call this side my c. So thinking about these three sides, does A continue to change, this side? Well, that's where the balloon is rising, so it's just gonna continue to go up, so this side is changing. Now, what about this side? Is this side changing? Yes, it is. So the motorcycle is just gonna continue to go this way, so this will continue to change. And since these sides are both changing, um, the distance between the balloon and the motorcycle are also going to continue to change. So all three things in this particular equation are changing. Sometimes um, nothing changes or sometimes one side might not be changing. So it just kind of depends on the context. So this is important because this will kind of help me to fill in my derivative. So if I take the derivative of this, what do I need to take it with respect to? Well, notice that the two rates that I was given, I have a rate with respect to feet per second, so that's time, feet per second, also time. So I need to take my derivative with respect to time. So if I take my derivative, I get dA or 2A dA dt. So that's what tells me I'm taking my derivative with respect to time. 2B dB dt and then 2C dC dt. Now I don't like all those twos, so I'm just gonna drop them. So I'll just restate the equation because we don't, we don't need them. We can just divide everything by two. And I just prefer having fewer numbers to work with. So I'll write that out. And now I can start to fill things in. So I know my A at the moment. I know the B at the moment. That's 56 and 90. Now DA, I know DA DT. That's this two feet a second. DB DT is the speed of the motorcycle. So I have to figure out what C is. And then the question is actually asking me what DC DT is. So I, I will then have filled in all my, my variables. So to figure out C, now I'm just gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's see, I'll just, I'll just work that out down here. So I've got uh, 56, 56 squared plus 90 squared equals C squared. So if I go ahead and I solve that, 
this comes out to, I need to take the square root of 11,236, which is approximately, or rather exactly, it is exactly 106. So this will equal 106. Okay, so now I've actually got kind of all the info that I need here. So now I can fill in my problem. So I said my A was 56, my D, A, D, T was two, my B was 90, and the speed it's moving at is 30, and then my C is 106, and this is D, C, D, T, so that's what I need to solve for. So now I just have to go through and, and just solve this like a typical algebra problem. So ultimately this is gonna come out to D, C, D, T equals 26.53 feet a second. And so that would be your answer in this case. So the distance between the balloon and the motorcycle is changing at a rate of 26.53 per second. And so that'll wrap up this one, guys. So hopefully that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. I'll talk to you guys next time.